Hey, it's Yoshimitsu from the Disney Infinity subreddit and DisneyInfinityCodes.com, and in this video I'm going to show you the most basic use of the logic gate, which is to gate a connection. I'm going to use the enemy generator, the trigger, and the logic gate in this setup. So, oh, and a power switch for my logic gate, so let's go ahead and put these down. We'll use the trigger to activate the enemy generator, and I'm also going to put a second trigger just for clearing the enemy generator. I tried to do this video a minute ago, and the enemies I spawned were not cooperating, so definitely want to make sure I get that in there this time. And I'm setting it to player any, because again, I don't want the enemies to interfere. We'll go remove all. Okay, so what we're going to want with these switches is and normally you'd want uh, on stepping on the trigger the signal to go to the enemy generator and spawn enemies. But since we want a logic gate in between, we're going to go stepped on, player, any, and instead of going here, we're going to go here and do input. Now input basically just means whatever signal I get I will receive as input. It's not on, off, well I mean it could be on or off but it's not going to tell the logic gate to open or close. It's just going to receive some input. So similarly we will take from output here and we'll spawn just go with Rhino Guard since that's what I usually use and now we need to incorporate the logic gate. So the point of this tutorial is to show you how this logic gate can stop the input. And actually, in 3.0, they added these neat little lines where you could see the direction of input. So that's really handy. But basically, the idea here is you can see the logic gate, the picture for it is a little gate. When I have the gate closed, it won't update the picture. That would be nice. But it will stop the flow from here to here. So on on, we'll go with open. And on off, we'll go with close. And unless I've forgotten something, I think that's all set up. So basically, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want the logic gate open. So that will be the on signal, which we've got. So with the logic gate open, when I step on the switch to the left here, we should get a rhino guard on the enemy generator. And we do. So I'm going to go ahead and remove him so he's not in the way. And now I want to close the power switch again. Or I want to close the logic gate by turning the power switch off, that is. And then when I step on this button, I won't get an enemy. So that's this, the basic usage. And this is also in the tutorial I'm putting to accompany this video, demonstrating examples one and two um, using the logic gate to gate a connection, which we just did, and being able to reset the logic gate if you want your input signal, the, let's say the stepping on the switch, to be able to do enemy spawning again. So the, the main reason you might want a setup like this, just to go back a, a minute, um, is so yeah, we've got on right now on our power switch. Um, let's say I, I want to spawn enemies once, but I don't want the enemies to spawn again. So I could go uh, stepped on, player, any, and when I go here, it turns off the power switch. This will close the logic gate. So whenever I step on this, logic gate is closed. It will not spawn enemies again. Just go ahead and get rid of this guy. So yeah, now that the power switch is closed, I will not get enemies out of it again until... I go over here and turn it on. Now I will get enemies. So yeah, if you don't want the effect of the uh, the closing of the gate, you'll just get rid of that connection I just added. But that just shows you a simple way where you can step on this once, get one spawn, and now no more spawns will happen. Which is handy for arenas or uh, single like challenges you may have in your toy box. Like you want to kill 
a group of enemies that spawns once, but you don't want them to spawn again and again on the same conditions. So yeah, that's uh, the basic usage of a logic gate. I think that's kind of what they were intended to be used for. And in my next few videos, I'll show you maybe what they weren't really intended to be used for.